Hey subbies, I can't wait to share with you my amazing library haul. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my amazing uploads. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The first book that I picked up from the library is The Liar's Room. A new spine-tingling thriller from the author of The New Neighbors that takes place over the course of a therapy session in which neither a patient nor a therapist are who they claim to be. Two liars, one room, no way out. Susanna Fenton has a secret. Fourteen years ago, she left her identity behind, reinventing herself as a therapist and starting a new life. It was the only way to keep her daughter safe. When a young man named Adam Jarity walks into her office claiming he needs Susanna's help but asking unsettling questions, she begins to fear that her secret has been discovered. The next book that I picked up is Watching from the Dark. One crime, one witness, one question. Why didn't he call the police? When a vibrant young woman is murdered while well, on a video chat, a small town detective eases into a circle of friends, lovers with dangerous secrets. Aiden Poole logs onto his laptop late in the night to Skype with his girlfriend, Zoe. To his horror, he realizes that there is someone else in her flat. Aiden can only listen to the sounds of a violent struggle taking place in the bathroom, and then the sound of silence. The third book that I picked up from the library is The Perfect Child. A young couple desperate to have a child of their own and the unsettling consequences of getting what they always wanted. Christopher and Hannah are happily married surgeon and nurse with the picture-perfect lives. All that's missing is a child. When Janie, an abandoned six-year-old, turns up at their hospital, Christopher wants an instant connection with her and he convinces Hannah that they should take her home as their own. Janie is no ordinary child, and her damaged psyche has proved to be more than her new parents were expecting. Janie is fiercely devoted to Christopher, but she acts out in increasingly disturbing ways, directing all of her rage at Hannah. Unable to bond with Janie, Hannah is drowning under the pressure, and Christopher refuses to see Janie's true nature. The final book that I have is The Other People by C.J. Tudor. Three years ago, Gabe's family disappeared. Most people think they died. Some of them blame Gabe. Hardly anyone believes the truth that Gabe saw his daughter the day she and his wife disappeared, smiling at him from the back of a rusty old car speeding down the highway. So even though it's been three years since that day, Gabe cannot give up hope. Even though he has given up everything else, his home, his job, his old life, he spends his days traveling up and down the highway sleeping in service stations and searching for the car that took her. It's hard for most people to understand, but Gabe has found some who do in an online group set up by people who have also lost loved ones who have suffered like him. They call themselves the other people. Because isn't that what everyone thinks? Bad stuff only happens to other people? I can't wait to share each one of these amazing book reviews on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on my social media. My Instagram is Comedy Creation. My Twitter is Comedy Addict. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my amazing videos that I have to share with each and every one of you, Sensational Subbies. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I can't wait to see you in the next video, Subbies. Until then, Sensational Smiles Go For Miles. Be sure to subscribe and stay a while. See you in my next video. Bye, subbies.